Hey everybody, weekend one-offs are back. Why is the house the wrong colour? And to coincide with the Simpsons here, I'm wrong currently going up. We're going to do Simpsons Road Rage for like 10 minutes. This really does look terrible. Faster, cheaper, and completely safe. Please kill me. That poor man. I hope someone does kill him. Those radio That's like the best line in the game. The public Threat to public I might as well end this now. It's not going to get any better. What do you think? Just get to the Why are Marge's eyelashes on her eyes? Why is the house the wrong colour? So, Simpsons Road Rage is... It's not low effort. I wouldn't say it's low effort. It is... There's effort put into it by the developer Radical Entertainment, who also developed Hit and Run. Sticker price is eighty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> See, I will have almost all of the locations. It's not, it's not a low effort game. Uh, there's a bunch of effort put into it. Uh, they've got almost all the voice actors in here. Interestingly enough, uh, by the time this goes up, I don't know if the part where I remark upon it will have gone up for Sorry, hit and run. Uh, but I'm in hit and run. Edna Cabrapo isn't in there, but she is in this. Granted, they only needed her for like two lines, if that, but still. So, Simpsons Road Rage is Crazy Taxi. You ever played Crazy Taxi? You've played Simpsons Road Rage. Oh, I'd say that's a new record. I preferred this to Crazy Taxi as a kid because it was the Simpsons. And it plays fine. The biggest problem with it is the, um... The low turns. I think we just ran over Miss Crabapple, actually. You're the best driver I've ever seen. Where to, Mick? There she is. I've had enough of those kids. Just take me home, okay? Careful, don't sit on my nachos. So it's a fun enough game. Um, it's a little more controllable than Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi has has a learning curve to really get to grips with its physics. Please don't do. Uh, so this is definitely easier to pick up and play, though in the end it's not as good. Too easy. That trip gets an A plus. Hello, Apu. Hello, Mr. Homer. You are looking as fat and lazy as ever. Please take me to the grocery store. Their low prices make me laugh. The what now? So the big appeal of this game is the locations and the characters. It's the same kind of fan service that Hit and Run does. Um, Hit and Run does better. Because you can uh, fully explore right. the world. Will be rewarded in the next life. Whereas this game's all about get to a place quickly. Chief Wiggum, uh, how can I be of law abiding service? Try, with extreme prejudice. Can you take me home? Uh, Thieves stole my police car. Oh, can I come? So there's an interesting thing I learned about this uh, a little while ago. Apparently, it was originally intended to just be one big map. Like, the game as it is is split into six maps that cover all of Springfield. And by the, at the point this game came out, it has basically everything you could think of from The Simpsons in it, in some fashion. Like, every location. You sure know how to speed. It's crashing time! Boat Quimby. Do you have any bar bags? I don't feel so good. And like, originally it was supposed to be open world, I didn't know about that until recently. And you can see it, there are, the map is a lot bigger on the map screen than you can actually access, and you can see parts of other maps when you get to the edges. And they're just blocked off by debris and stuff. 
Wait. That was a superb trip. Drop by my office and I'll give you the key to the city. Homer for hire at your service. Warp speed. Why is Commando guy right. got Willy Shack? Probably not a question I want answered. Yeah, apparently there was a bug on. It might have been the PS2 version that made it a hard crash with that, so they ended up cutting out all of the. Ended up cutting up the maps into. Ended up cutting up the map into three, like six maps. Yeah, man. Is that some sort of crack? Hey, I didn't ask for your life story. Just get me out of here. No questions, all right? I'll pay hands. Yeah, this is such an obvious rip-off of Crazy Taxi fast. that Sega you successfully sued EA and Fox man. for it. Can I just take I've you to your house? Just take me home, okay? Okay, I didn't ask for your life story. Yes, Sega successfully sued Fox and EA for it. Because it is, it is Crazy Taxi, there's no way around that. It's a solid Crazy Taxi clone. Like I say, I had plenty of fun with it as a kid. But it's Crazy Taxi through and through. You sure drive better You know, I've heard the Game Boy Advance version of this is actually pretty cool. Um, well designed. Just or maybe not well designed, it runs really well and captures the feel really well. Certainly better than the Game Boy Advance version of Crazy Taxi does. Um, we should do those at some point for the weekend one-offs now that we're back. That, that should be fun. Did I do great or really great? Bummer, dude. Hmm. That was like... So totally slow. What part of get in don't you understand? This home? does end up being a problem ultimately with this game though. You, you end up bags? going back and forth between so the good. same locations. And it ends up feeling like there's a lot of wasted space here. Because like this is the second time we've done this circuit. Stakes were made! And maybe it is part of the problem of them having to cut up one big map into six small ones. That's like, no, he's gonna say Simpsons. No house is hard. So we have these little bonus objectives. We've had the um, avoid traffic for bonuses a couple of times. There's the destroy stuff for bonuses. And what they essentially mean is. Fulfill the objective and you get extra money and extra time regardless how fast it's done. Whoa, thanks. You rock the house. Hey, I got to go to Skinner's. He's making me hose off his mother. Get in. <laughs> I've got candy. The what now? This is the entire game. It's very arcadey. Which is pretty much the point. The big problem more than anything is the load screens. Like, they're one of the biggest problems with it. You can sit down and have a bunch of fun with this. You've just got to devote a bit of time to sitting down with loading screens. As opposed to Crazy Taxi, which works a lot better for it. I think I did something last night I need to confess, but I don't remember what it was. Can I come? And now we're at the point where, despite how hard you try, you end up getting to every destination without getting any extra points. One extra second. Same thing happens in Crazy Taxi. The longer you go, the shorter the time frame starts to get. Now watch out for those buses. Am I gonna make this? Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. It's too far. Damn it. Video game sucks. That wasn't a bad score, then. So, the way the way everything works is you do the Crazy Taxi game, and when you're done, it adds up all your cash, and when you hit certain milestones in total cash earned... Hey, hey, your rating is... Speed Freak. I don't think I've ever gotten above Speed Freak. Yeah, the best one I've got on this save file.
when you hit certain milestones, you can unlock some, uh, either a new car or a new location. You don't get to choose which location you unlock, it's just the next one on the list. If you choose car, you get to unlock the next car. Uh, you get to choose which car you unlock. Downtown. Ooh, Chuckasaurus. Jebediah Springfield. And Mr. Burns' Casino. Well, we've not really hit a high point yet on the timer, so let's go for that. Sunny Drive is a fine enough mode. There's not really much point to it, though. Explore everything, yeah, but... The game's designed for you to move fast. Who the hell are you? And... Like, not really... Stop to look at anything. Because there's no real depth to it. Uh, Marge stuff drives the Canyon Arrow. Everyone better stay out of my way! Lisa, I mentioned this during the hit and run playthrough, but Lisa drives the Electorus in here, which is why I was confused Get in the hit and run playthrough. Oh dear. I was expecting her to drive the Electorus in that, but she drives the Malibu Stator car instead. And Apu has his car. Sports car. Which we can't see because I haven't unlocked him. Let's take Snake with the little bandit. And check out downtown. Let's see how long we last with this. Mm-hmm. There we go. Steal any of my passengers and you'll pay for it, my friend. You'll pay dearly. Yeah, so behind us is blocked, but on the map it's clearly accessible. Let's go, dude. Can you take me to church? I think I did something last night I need to confess. But I don't remember what it was. No problem. Is this gonna be the glass roof cause, uh, cause, uh, cathedral? Try and dash, but not say casino there. Mm. Watch where you're going! Totally no, I don't awesome think it is. Mm. Thanks, little buddy! You're the best! Dude, get in the car and let's go! Say, can you take me to the Springfield mission? Nothing like helping the needy, I always say. This is so much better than being in prison! Awesome! Whoa, that was quick! Totally you know, awesome I thought for a minute. Oh, the monorail. Right. I thought for a minute I was going to end up picking up one of those barrels. I couldn't airport. see a poo There's in there. Excellent strip club nearby. All right, let's roll. Dude, this is where you oh, the airport? Off. That was so fast. Take this jerky as a tip. We're off to the races. Ooh, DMV. DMV please. Will he hit one too many post boxes? Hey, just yeah. leave the driving to me. Oh, I'm doing terrible. So the comparison with Crazy Taxi works better if the if it was all one map because Crazy Taxi was all one map. Uh, they added a second map in the console version. All right, a sucker. To the Natural History Museum, please. No problem, dude. One of these places really oh wacky there. How dare you defy me? One of these places is that a just seem like really generic. Like, yeah, I know the museum's been in an episode, but it's a museum. Your permanent record. Totally awesome. It's not really a, even anything unique. I mean, they're sure sitting all at least. All right. Android's Sucker. dungeon's cool. Please take me to my store and make it quick. Every second my store is closed has a negative impact on society. No That's problem. Cool. Nowhere. Warp speed. Oh, the park with the gazebos. Ah, good stuff. All right, time to pay up, dude. Thank you for the lift. Miss Krabappel. All right, easy money. Hey, take me to the Happy Sumo. I crave raw fish. This is so much better than being in prison. Craves raw fish. Really can't doubt that's what she's there for. She's there for the expert hands. But master, we need your skilled hands. My skilled hands are busy. You'll do it. There's a reason Simpsons was so popular once. All right. 
Well, you sure drive better than Seymour. Popsicle skyscraper. Yeah. Dude, get in the car and let's go. Ooh, Wait, let's I'm go see Trucosaurus. No problem, dude. It becomes obvious very quickly how few actual... Time to pay up, dude. This sucks. Don't worry, somebody. We're off to the races. Can you take me to the black box bar? Hey, just leave the driving. Yeah, to it me. becomes obvious very quickly how few voice lines there are. It's cool that they've got what seems to be the entire cast, but. Each character has like maybe five lines at most. Some of the drivers have a little bit more. Get out of the way. Totally awesome, dude. Nice. Yeah, that ride was fine as fresh huckleberries. Let's go, dude. She was on the other side of that bus a minute ago. Let's roll. Forget so, yeah, this. the weird thing is that this has a plot. Mr. Burns has bought up the uh, public transportation buses and replaced them with nuclear-powered buses. Oh my goodness, that was so fast. And everybody's really against that, so everybody basically starts right. their own cab mm -hmm. service. Take me to the black box bar. No problem, dude. Get him, Smithies. It's a functional enough storyline, I guess. It's an excuse more than anything. Just do this, cat. Just do crazy taxi. All right. Later Simpsons games would get less obvious about what they're parodying, or would have uh, the parody not be the entire game. Totally awesome. Mm, your driving gets a D minus. Dude, get in the car and let's City go. Hall again. I'd like to go to City Hall, please. I need to do some research. All right. Let's roll. Yeah, like, um, Simpsons Hit and Run is diverse enough. People called it a Grand Theft Auto clone at the time, but it really isn't. Score! Thank you for the adequate ride. Not too fast, not too slow, just right. Let's go, dude! I need to check out the Are we really just going in no problem, like one dude. Like circle now? Yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run really isn't a Grand Theft Auto clone, despite what was claimed at the time. Because the term open world game didn't exist yet. Awesome. Well, that's Nose it. Flash. You suck. Camera went crazy I'm there. So getting in the groove. And the Simpsons game was mostly parodying stuff on a level to level basis. Hey, hey, yeah, what do we get for that one? Insane. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the first run. Not my worst run, though. Not even on this file. <sighs> I don't think I unlocked all the vehicles at any point. Racers, electric cars. This is a transit town, not the 1967 World's Fair. There is an interesting thing in there. There are four special cars that unlock only on specific holidays: um, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and I forget what the other one is. And they replace. They don't replace anything actually. The um, this open slot here becomes that specific card. It's only available for one day of the year. Um, Homer gets one of them. Apu gets one of them. Apu might get the Christmas card. Um, I think Marge gets one of them. It's an interesting thing, although the disappointment is that you can only use that car for one day. So, yeah. But as Simpsons Road Rage, I think it's a nice little uh, connector with the Simpsons hit and run to go in with that. Uh, but that's where we're going to call it. There's not really anything else to see.
beyond check out a couple more locations, but we've seen the, what is essentially the entire game. Yeah, we can one us back though. Been a long time coming. And in the meantime, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic time of day, and I'll catch you next time.